Listen to the conversations. Check the correct answers. One. How was your trip to Egypt? Oh, it was incredible. I finally got to visit the pyramids. And what did you think? I learned so much. Like, did you know that they were uncovered by Napoleon? Before he visited the country, they were buried in sand. Really? Do they know who built them? Yes, of course. They were built by the Egyptians. And did you go inside a pyramid? No. Most of the pyramids are closed to tourists. You can't go in. But I took a lot of photos from the outside. Do you want to see? Two. Weren't you just on vacation in Africa? Well, actually, I was there for work. But I was able to take a couple of great trips that I'll never forget. Where did you go? I went to Victoria Falls, on the border of Zimbabwe and Zambia. The falls are amazing. I really enjoyed the trip. I'd love to go there. What about your other trip? I visited a huge stone wall called Great Zimbabwe. The area inside the wall is supposed to be big enough to hold a city with 20,000 people. It's the largest monument in southern Africa. So, what happened to the city? No one really knows. I guess it's still a mystery. Three. Welcome back. So how was Easter Island? I've never been anywhere like it. It's unique. What's so special about it? Well, first of all, it's very remote. Chile and Tahiti are over 3,000 kilometers away, but it's known mainly for the giant statues. Oh, yeah. I've seen photos of them. They were built by Polynesians who arrived there nearly 2,500 years ago. It sounds like you really enjoyed it. I did. It was like an open-air museum with the statues along the coast, archaeological sites, volcanic craters, and some fantastic beaches. Four. What have you been doing? I haven't seen you in a long time. I've been living abroad. I was working in Laos for a while. Laos? I just read an article about Laos. I've always wanted to go there. It's a beautiful country, especially the city where I lived. It was built at the point where the Mekong River meets the Khan River. Yeah, I think I read about it. Isn't that the place with lots of temples? Yeah, and fortunately, I had time to visit many of them. My favorite temple is called Golden City Monastery. It was built on the riverbank nearly 500 years ago. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct answers. 1. How was your trip to Egypt? Oh, it was incredible. I finally got to visit the pyramids. And what did you think? I learned so much. Like, did you know that they were uncovered by Napoleon? Before he visited the country, they were buried in sand. Really? Do they know who built them? Yes, of course. They were built by the Egyptians. And did you go inside a pyramid? No. Most of the pyramids are closed to tourists. You can't go in. But I took a lot of photos from the outside. Do you want to see? Two. Weren't you just on vacation in Africa? Well, actually, I was there for work. But I was able to take a couple of great trips that I'll never forget. Where did you go? I went to Victoria Falls, on the border of Zimbabwe and Zambia. The falls are amazing. I really enjoyed the trip. I'd love to go there. What about your other trip? I visited a huge stone wall called Great Zimbabwe. The area inside the wall is supposed to be big enough to hold a city with 20,000 people. It's the largest monument in southern Africa. So, what happened to the city? No one really knows. I guess it's still a mystery. Three. Welcome back. So how was Easter Island? I've never been anywhere like it. It's unique. What's so special about it? Well, first of all, it's very remote. Chile and Tahiti are over 3,000 kilometers away. But it's known mainly for the giant statues. Oh, yeah. I've seen photos of them. They were built by Polynesians who arrived there nearly 2,500 years ago. 
It sounds like you really enjoyed it. I did. It was like an open-air museum with the statues along the coast, archaeological sites, volcanic craters, and some fantastic beaches. Four. What have hey, you what's going doing? on, Eric? I haven't seen you in a long time. I've been living abroad. I was working in Laos hey, how you doing today? Laos. I just read an article about Laos. I've always uh, wanted to go there. It's a beautiful country. How do you feel today? Especially the city where I, I feel sick. Sick. What do you have? Um and and body edge and and to my stomach. Stomach. Ah, you have body ache and stomach body ache. ache. Yes. And Possible. did you go did did you go Possible. to work today? What? Oh no, not COVID. I'm so sorry to hear that, my friend. Thank you. Not nice. Nothing good. Nothing good. Are you drinking medicine? Are you resting? In this moment and uh, not the church. Yeah. Because, uh, how say uh, uh, I, I have not had a consultation. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Ah, uh, pero, eh, uh, se llama? My, my boss tested positive, uh, to Monday, Monday. Oh my God! It's possible. <laughs> Eesh. Well, I'm so sorry to hear that. That's terrible. Well, I hope you feel better. Sorry. I hope you feel better. In this moment, I uh, not good. Mm -hmm. I hope you feel better okay so i hope you feel better means espero que te mejores oh, okay all right thank you. thank you all right welcome back ladies and gentlemen we're gonna go ahead and get started in yesterday's class we were looking at the midterm exam so today we're gonna go ahead and go over it together and then we're going to move on to the next section. So the first exercise on the midterm exam that we were looking at yesterday is coming from the listening section, number one. So this section, number one, says the Egyptian pyramids are not open to tourists. Monica Escobar, number two, please. Number two, please. Hello, Monica, can you hear me? Hello, hello. All right, Monica must have problems with her computer. Let me have Lisette Castillo. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Good evening. Hey, good evening, Lisette Castillo. Go ahead. Let me uh, do number two for me, please. Okay. Great Zimbabwe is the largest monument in Southern Africa. Southern Africa, very good. Number three, please. Uh, Marlon Barrientos, number three. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Um, How are you? I'm fine. Awesome. The number three. Awesome. Yes. Easter Island has Island. some large. Easter Iceland. No, Island. Has... Island has some large statues. 
Very good. Easter Island have mm -hmm. some larger statues. Mm, are you sure? Yes. Okay. Number four, please, for me, Eric. Uh, the city where the woman lives is located where two rivers meet. Perfect. The next one, part two, number one, Lee, uh, Kevin Antonio. Hello. Hi. Kevin Antonio, number one. Uh, we're bored by the Lord of the Rain movie. Very good. We're bored by the Lord of the Rings movie. Excellent. Kevin, thank you. Thank you. Number two, Diana Vasquez. Number two, Diana Vasquez. Barbara thought Ben Affleck was the actor who started in Cold Mountain. Excellent. Diana. Number three, Wendy. Number three, Wendy. Hello, Wendy, can you hear me? Hello, hello, Wendy, are you there? Okay, Wendy cannot hear me. Let's continue. Oh, hi, Wendy, can you hear me? <laughs> yes. Hello, good evening, how are you? I'm fine. I... Uh... What is the, the problem? <laughs> because I don't have the link. Oh, it is. Lab. We are working exercise number three. Can you see my screen? Yes. Number three. Is grow. Uh, number three, it says, what does mandatory class attendance mean? Can you see my screen? Yes. Thank you. Okay. Okay. It could mean that you don't have to go to class every day? No. Mm. No. Uh, can somebody help Wendy, please? Please. <laughs> it means some... you must attend every class during the semester. Perfectly said. It means you must attend every class during the semester. Perfect. Okay, Eric, number four. Number four, what is true about the performance? You're not allowed to recite phone calls. All right, thank you, Eric. Let's check, correct. Number four is correct. Three, correct. Two correct. Oh no. Number one, Kevin. What happened? Number one is, is uh are interesting movies because of what they choose to read. Oh, okay, okay. Thank sorry, you. Kevin. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> That's okay. All right, number four is correct. Number three is correct. Number two is correct. Number one is correct. Ding, ding, ding. Good job, ladies and gentlemen.
Any questions referring to this activity? All right. No now, for the next activity, we are going to move forward and we're going to be looking at rewriting the sentences. Rewriting the sentences. Uh, please uh, read the first one for me, Kevin. Kevin, number one. Can you hear me, Kevin? Okay. Hello, number one. All right, go ahead, Kevin. Number one. All right, Eric, number one. I don't know, teacher. Number one. Okay. Is the Star Wars movies was was uh, by uh, directed. Star Wars movie was directed by your Lucas. Correct. Where director? Very good. Where so. The answer is the Star Wars movies were directed by George Lucas. Can everybody see my screen? Can everybody see my screen? Yes, okay. Uh, number two, Lisette. The World Wide Web was developed by Tim Berners-Lee. Perfect. The next one. Number three, Monica. Number three, Monica Escobar. The James Bond novels were written by Lynn Fleming. Perfect. The James Bond movies, novels, were written by Ian Fleming. Thank you. Monica Marlon, number four. The Eiffel Tower in Paris was designed by Gustav Eiffel. Excellent. Okay. Diana, the next section, number one. Comedies are a type of movie which usually make people laugh. Perfect. Thank you. Wendy, number two. Doing a Houseman is a popular TV show which stars Charlie Chain. Thank you. Correct. The following one, please, Mario Barahona. Charlie Theron is an actress who won an Oscar for her performance in the Monster. Excellent. Ding, ding, ding. Good job, ladies and gentlemen. That is correct. Let's go for section C, completing the sentences. Monica Escobar, number one. Monica Escobar, okay. number one. He's spoken. Is, can you read the complete sentence, please? English is, is spoken in Australia and New Zealand. 
Awesome. Thank you. Eric, number two. Number two is Spanish and Portuguese are taught at the school. Excellent. Are taught at this school. Marlon Berrientos, number three. Rice is grown in Asian countries. Perfect. Thank you, Marlon. Let me have the next participant. Part two is going to be number one. I would like for Mr. Eric Ramirez. Eric, number one, Ramirez. Um, meet uh, was meeting. Oh, so, sorry. So, yeah, was meeting my best friend while I was talking a business course. I was meeting my best friend while I was taking a business course. Perfect. Number two, Kevin Antonio. Uh, we were sleeping, but the sun what as at perfect three Lisette Castillo three Lisette Castillo Ted was talking when he saw from suddenly went did suddenly or suddenly Sa. suddenly suddenly very good the it's the 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 spelling is a U, but the pronunciation is a A, ah, suddenly. Thank you, Lisette. Suddenly. Okay. All right. Thank you. Part Thank you. three. Number one is meet. Meet. I met my friend while I was taking a business course. Ha, ha, ha. I knew it. Yes. Okay, good, good. Thank you. Num part three, number one, Diana Vasquez. I think animated films are fascinating. Fascinating. Thank you. Number two, Wendy. We're both interested in reading Amy Tan's last book. Very good. Interested. Number three. Monica Escobar. Number three, Monica Escobar. I was surprised to see Marisa and Mitchell and the party. I was surprised to see Maritza and Michelle at the party. Thank you, Monica. Continue, Lisette Castillo, number four. Renting a movie is a boring way to spend Saturday night. Very good, boring way, thank you. Okay, now, awesome. All right, looks like all of them are correct. Let's go ahead and look at circling the words. Number one is going to be Monica Escobar. Okay. Monica Escobar.
Okay, Lisette One Castillo. Of the fruit grown in Guatemala. Guatemala is coffee. Uh, Wendy, number two. Uh, microchips are manufactured in California. Microchips are manufactured in California, correct. Kevin, number three. Kevin Antonio, number three. I planned to graduate this semester, but uh, uh, unfortunately, I failed some on my exam. Thank you. Herrick, number four. I was looking for a job when mira, no sé cómo se pronuncia, miraculously, miraculously, I won the lottery and went on vacation. Instead. Thank you. Woo, that's me right there. <laughs> Number five, Marlon Barrientos. The musical was terrible. I didn't enjoy it all. It at all. Excellent. The music was terrible. I didn't enjoy it at all. Number six, please, Diana Vasquez. Number six. This book is fantastic. I just started it and I can't put it down. Perfect. Thank you, Diana. Monica Escobar, number seven. Monica Escobar, number seven, please. Hello, hello, Monica, can you hear me? Thing about the movie was that the people had everything about the movie was a dreadful thing. Very good. Dreadful film. Dreadful film. Okay. Thank you, Monica. Very good. And that's it. How many? Is that it? Oh, we got one more section from the top. Reading the truth about lying. All right. Lisette Castillo, read number one and give me the answer. Okay, teacher. Most of us are taught to believe that lying is wrong, but it seems that everybody tell lies, not big lies, but we, what we call white lies. Ah, you're reading the text. No, no, no. Right now, we're only going to check the answers. Ah, okay. Sorry, sorry, Lisa. Number one. Okay. Number one is paragraph three, lying to make someone feel good. Okay, thank you. Diana. Number two. Um, option four, lying to avoid sharing bad news. Lying to avoid sharing bad news. Number three. Number three. Kevin. Number three, Kevin. Uh, so, Meon, you don't like invite you to a movie, so, so you say, I already sang it. 
Eh, numeral two, lying to me, uh, an excuse. Perfect. Perfect. Eric, number three. Eric, number four. Number, number four is paragraph one, lying to hide something. Lying to hide something. All right. We are finished with the midterm exam, guys. Does anybody have any questions at this moment? Okay. No. So today we are going to get started and we're going to be looking at section number four. So on section number four, what we're going to do is go over describing feelings and gestures. Feelings and gestures. Please watch the video. Can you hear? Hi, Can you, you hear? I want you to take a look at the following images and listen to yes, here. Yes, teacher. Remember to play the audio program and repeat it as many times as you need to. He's biting his nails. He's rolling his eyes. He's scratching his head. He's tapping his foot. He's turning his hair. He's wrinkling his nose. Now I want you to use the previous expressions with these adjectives to describe how the man is feeling. Annoyed bored, confused, frustrated, impatient. He's turning his hair. Okay, uh, everybody look at the picture. You see the picture? Yes, teacher. Okay, so when people do this, what do you call that? Literally. Biting his nails, right? We say he's biting his nails. What about number two? He's rolling his eyes. A, B, C, D, C. which one? C. C, okay. Uh, he's scratching his head. F. 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 Scratching. Scratching. Number four. He's tapping his foot. E. e, right? Because you can see he's tapping his foot. Uh, the next one. He's twirling his hair. Which one is that one? Hey. This one, right? A, hey, twirling his hair. Number six, he's wrinkling his nose. B. B. All right. So you're going to give me at least five sentences using this vocabulary right here. Annoyed, bored, confused, disgusted. You're going to use at least five words from this list and you're going to write the sentence in this example. For example, eh, let me see, annoyed, bored, confused, disgusted, embarrassed, exhausted, frustrated, impatient, irritated, nervous, exhausted. Okay, so I can say I feel exhausted 
after a long day at work. Do you understand? Five examples. You will have five minutes and everybody can share your screen so that you can copy your partner's examples. Let's go. You can share your screen. Loving. Hello. Hello. La ven una planta de. Sí. Okay. Cinco oraciones vamos a hacer, ¿verdad? Sí.
si gustan, hagámosla. O sea, después compartimos qué es lo que pusimos cada uno. Uh -huh. Vaya, yo en la primera he escrito, I feel annoyed because you were late. Esa es la oración que yo hice con la primera palabra. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Mario. You can share your screen. Okay. Wait. Wendy terminó. Uno. Are y'all finished? Are y'all finished? More time, please, teacher. All right, all right.
Hey, Monica, how you doing? Hey, Wendy, welcome. Let me have your examples, Monica. Can I hear your examples? Monica, can you hear me? Kevin, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, let me hear your examples. Mm. He's bored at home. Mm -hmm. And he's frustrated with his English text. Excellent, excellent. Thank you, Monica. Amanda, can I hear your examples? Marlon, can I hear your examples? Kevin, can I hear your examples? Okay. I feel nervous about my next exam. I feel nervous by the I kisses on the food. I feel bored because no things are. Awesome, awesome, awesome work. Okay, guys, now we're going to go ahead and move forward. We're looking at 4.2, modal adverbs. Have you met Raj? Have you met Raj? Listen, please. Hi, welcome back. Listen to the following conversation and pay attention to the use of models and adverbs as they speak. Remember, you may practice the conversation with a friend or a classmate. After the conversation, you will listen to the explanation. Have you met Raj? Part A. Listen and practice. Have you met Raj, the student from India? No, I haven't. Well, he seems really nice, but there's one thing I noticed. He moves his head from side to side when you talk to him. You know, like this. Maybe it means he doesn't understand you. No, I don't think so. Or it could mean he doesn't agree with you. Actually, people from India sometimes move their heads from side to side when they agree with you. Oh, so that's what it means. No, I haven't. Does anybody have any questions related to the pronunciation or vocabulary in this section? Questions in regards to this vocabulary? Raj, his name? Raj is his name. Raj, okay. Raj is his name, yes. Okay, we're going to practice the conversation in pairs. Everybody listen and repeat. Have you met Raj? Have you met Raj? Have you met Raj? Have you met Raj? The student from India? The student from India? Student from India? No, I haven't. No, no, I haven't. no, I haven't. Well, he seems really nice. Well, well, he seems really nice. nice. But there's one thing I noticed. But, but there's, there's one thing I noticed. noticed. He moves his head from side to side when you talk to him. He moves his he moves head his from, side, side, from to side, side to side when you talk to him. Talk to him. You know, like this. You know, you like, know this. like this. 
Maybe it means he doesn't understand you. Maybe it means he doesn't understand you. Mm, no, I don't think so. No, I don't no, think so. I don't think so. Or it could mean he doesn't agree with you. Or, or it could mean, mean to he doesn't agree, he doesn't with, agree you. with you. Actually, people from India sometimes move their heads from side to side. Actually, people from India sometimes move their heads from side to side. When they agree with when they agree with you. When they, when agree, they agree with, with you. you. Oh, so that's what it means. Oh, so, so that's, that's what, what it means. means. Okay. We're going to practice it in pairs. And then we're going to come back. I'm going to change the partners. Ready? Let's go. Go. You can share the screen. How do you mean Raj, the student from India? No, I haven't. Well, he seemed really nice, but there's a um, thing I noticed. He moves his head from side to side when you talk to him, you know, like this. Maybe it's mean he doesn't understand you. No, I don't think so. Or it could mean he doesn't agree with you. Actually, people from India sometimes move their heads from side to side. Actually, people from India sometimes they get from side to side when they agree with you. Okay. Kevin, you are wrong. Me, Emily, and said Peter. Kevin. Hello, Kevin. Hello. Tú eres wrong. Okay. Have you been by the student from India? No, I haven't. Well. All right, guys, time's up, time's up. We see you tomorrow. Good night.
Good night, teacher. Bye-bye. Good night, teacher. Bye.